Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change spokesperson Fadzai Mahere says the party has concluded vetting candidates for all the constituencies and council wards across the country but is now consulting stakeholders. Mahere was speaking to this publication a month after the party conducted its nomination process. The party initially announced it would review its candidate from 11 April. She said, We confirm that the process has proceeded smoothly. Candidates have been successfully nominated and vetted for each of these seats, 210 constituencies and 1,971 votes. Stakeholders have been consulted. We are currently at the citizen caucus stage where citizens will have a say on who will best represent for each respective community. As per the CCC candidate selection process just document, the process is in five parts. Nomination, which happened on 5 April 2023, candidate acceptance confirmation in which nominated candidates were supposed to accept the nomination, candidate vetting and announcement of candidates that would have passed the vetting stage. The final stage will be the consensus building caucuses before the official announcement of victorious candidates. One of the key deliveries of our 2023 agenda announced by President Chamisa at the start of the year was to come up with MPs and councillors to send a citizen representatives in all 210 constituencies and 1,971 holes throughout the country, said Mahiri. To date, only nominations for Harare West, which we announced at the initial press conference, have been made public, but everything else is being kept under wraps. The nomination process was hit by confusion and chaos with some candidates crying foul, but at a press conference two weeks ago, party debut spokesperson Gift Sesua assured participants that those who fail the fitting test would be given an opportunity to approach the appeals committee. Meanwhile, Mahere said Triple C is confident of winning the next general elections. Again, I quote, we are well on course to ensure the citizens' movement is completely and ethically represented in every community of Zimbabwe. The citizens will have the opportunity to put a permanent end in the ballot box to the repression, persecution, hunger and poverty created by Zanupia. A Triple C government will usher in a new Great Zimbabwe with leaders who will deliver dignity, freedom and prosperity for all. Said. But they're here.